Who want to go first? All right, joined with Adam Trini and Clay Wagner, along with head coach Mike Swider. Coach, an, an opening statement before we open this up for questions? Well, I should I tell them what I told you guys? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think it was our best effort. Uh, I think we can play better. And I told our football team that if we want to win next week, we need to play better than we did today. And I asked them what their goals were. And, he said they had high goals, and I said, then you're going to respond positively to my challenge. And my challenge to them was this performance was not good enough to, to uh, help us continue to win, so we got to get better. Um, I love our kids. I love their effort. The thing I love about them the most, and you put this in the paper, is they want to be motivated. So I'm telling these guys this, and they, they don't take it personally. They want to be pushed. They want to be motivated. They want to take it to the next level. That's what they want. Uh, you know, they don't want to be coddled, and, uh, and so we, we got to get better. But that being said, you also need to put in there that it's really exciting to be 11-0. and 0. Uh, There's only 16 teams that are left, and we're one of them, and we won 11 football games. That's really hard to do, and these guys have done it, and I'm really proud of them, both of them, as well as the other 109 out there, and uh, we can blaze on. Yeah, so Clay, Adam, hearing that, um, how does that affect the way that you go into next weekend? Um, I think we definitely still, still go in and play with a lot of confidence, but obviously we got to have urgency and making improvements where we need to improve. Uh, I know offensively, obviously, we had some turnovers, which we can't have, um, especially now in the playoffs. Like, that's, if we keep turning the ball over the way we have been, that'll get us beat. Um, so we know we got to fix that. Um, and then, yeah, just going back, watching film, seeing what else we can get better, um, clean up, and just keep playing um, and going into this practice week with a lot of urgency to make the necessary improvements. Yeah, I agree with Adam, with uh, especially turnovers. Turnovers kill drives and put defense in a bad position. And along with that, just the whole week not underestimating our opponent and uh, just preparing for him like we prepare for number one seed, Mount Union. Yeah, it's well said. I mean, you gotta. All opponents are worthy opponents, all of them. They got eleven men out there, and they all want to win. And uh, you gotta beat somebody. And, uh, and and like I said, I'm not. I'm in no way. You can phrase it however you want. I'm in no way down on a football team. I told them out there. I said I think this football team is good enough to go a long way. I really do. I believe in my heart. I believe it as sure as I'm sitting here. This football team can go a long way. No doubt we can. Uh, but we we gotta play better. Than we on that note, with the turnovers, not by any means to throw us out as an excuse, but do you feel like the cold weather affected guys' ability to handle the ball today? Um, I don't think cold weather has anything to do with it because this is one of the biggest things we practice is ball security. And, I mean, all the players on our team know that if we turn it over, like I said, it kills drives and not good for the team. Yeah, yeah it's definitely no excuse. and. We're used to it too. I mean, we we're playing here every day. It's not it's nothing new to us. So it's got to be better. You bet, man. Yeah. Okay. We, we got a good football team. Though. <laughs> we do. We do. We really do. But this is good. This is this is good. I mean, you know, the worst thing you can do. I said it's it's. Um, here's what I, I say to our players all the time. It's nice to be able to be frustrated and say we got to get better, and be sitting there with a win. It's hard when you say we can't turn the ball over, we can't do this, and now you're facing a lot and you're done. So, you know, we've got to win. And the worst thing I can do is, as a coach is to say, hey, everything's okay, you know, when, when we can play better. And, and, and we're Clay, and these guys are offensive plays, and they took ownership. It tells you their character. They took ownership is the offense turned the ball over, but, and that's who they are. But defensively, special teams, everything. We, we are a better football team than we were out there today, and, and our team knows that. And we, we got to play better. But like I said, at the same time, we're 11 and 0, and uh, and we're moving on. And we got a potential to be a real good team. Yeah. Well, okay. On that note, question to Adam: um, scored the first touchdown of the game. How did that feel to score on the drive and represent Wheaton that way? Um, I mean, it always feels good putting points on the board. Um, Felt good too, knowing like whenever plays like that come together and 
knowing that I really didn't even have to do much on that particular play because it got blocked up perfectly. They did a tunnel screen? Yeah. yeah. It literally got blocked up absolutely perfectly. Um, but, yeah, anytime we can score, it feels good. And I love, I, you know, I love when I get to get in the end zone. I love watching my teammates make great plays, too. Um, so, yeah, it felt good. What did it mean to, to get that first score so early in the game and get some momentum going? Uh, it felt good when it came. I think we we had just turned the ball over to yeah, the previous, previous before, you know. yeah the previous drive because it, it was that interception. Yeah, um, that definitely felt good too. Um, especially like coming off that interception, I felt like maybe there's more I could have done to have broken it up. Um, but it felt good to get in the end zone the, the next drive like that. And, and Quay, how did you guys feel on the line of scrimmage? Did you feel like you were in control there? Yeah. Um, we're, we take pride in knowing that the O line, D line too, is that's where it all starts. And um, we live in the trenches, and that's what I love about O line. And I mean, whenever I see guys like Adam score, it's just, it's like we started up here at the O line and made the opportunity for them. And I mean, if we do our job and they do their job, good things are going to happen. Would you rather be tested in the first round of the playoffs, have a closer game, or do you prefer to win by as much as you did? I mean, it's always good to win by a lot, uh, but uh, hopefully we keep winning like this. But, I mean, being tested is part of the game. Yeah, I don't, I don't live in hypotheticals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Would you rather, there's a lot of things you'd rather have in life. Mm -hmm. I live in reality. The reality is, this was a score. Okay, we got a game next week. In Central Iowa, we're going to be playing. This game's irrelevant. And now it's irrelevant. Big win, little win, it doesn't matter. We're playing Central Iowa. And so we're going to deal in reality. And it wasn't a close game. And we got to manage that. Good question. What do you know about Central Iowa? I don't know much. I really don't. Uh, they've won, I think, two overtime games. I think they beat Warper to get into the playoffs and get their automatic seed mm -hmm. in an overtime, and they just beat Oshkosh in overtime. And before I got up here, they they uh, they had scored right at the end of the game, and then they go to, to put it in overtime. They score in the first overtime. Oshkosh scores on fourth and ten in overtime and goes for two, and Central stops them. So yeah, I don't I don't know much. I I've seen Oshkosh a little on tape because they played Carthage in our conference in this first game, maybe first mm -hmm. or second game. So I've seen them on tape one time, but I've not seen Central at this point. But the round of 16, you're, you're, you better be ready to you know. <laughs> Sounds like you want to stay out of overtime with them. Yeah, right. <laughs> That'd be nice. Okay, maybe one of the bigger storylines this um, season for the Thunder has been injuries, unfortunately. But today, a victory having Philip Nichols back on the field Coach, how'd you feel about the way oh, he man. played? Anytime you get anybody back, you know, it's it's a great thing. You know, but Phillips showed you why he's a special kid today, didn't he? <laughs> he? He snagged a few, just like Tarini here. Yeah, I mean, that kid can play. He's a special athlete. And you saw a couple catches there that he made that were really spectacular. We got two guys. We got number four and number 11 both catch football. Yeah, great to have him back. And then also, one more question. Um, the Thunder's theme on the back of t-shirts, Pound the Rock. Um, could you speak into what that means? Yeah, well, it's, you know, nothing's ever easy. Life's not easy. And the worst thing you can do is get discouraged, get down, hang your head, mope, make excuses. You know, that nothing's free in the world of athletics. You know, our culture is a lot of free things. You know, everyone wants something free. But the thing about athletics is, and nothing free is there. you got to go out there and beat somebody. And you got to earn it. And, uh, and sometimes that happens over the grind of a season. You, you develop this. And you, the whole idea of you got to keep striking that rock is you don't know when it's going to break. And a lot of people quit in life, and the next swing of that hammer would have set them free. And so our kids are going to keep striking that rock until the last game, the last zero. The worst thing you can do is live life without, with, with regrets. Ours is living life without regret. You've got to keep swinging, swinging that hammer. Yeah, thanks, All righty.
Here we are. Chop, chop. Oh, yeah. Chop, chop. Onward and upward. How are you feeling? 